Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you one app which helps improve your workflow on your Mac OS. The app I'd like to share with you today is called Magic Man. This app is really magical, like its name suggests. With this app, you can create a new file of any apps you want, or move any files from anywhere to any locations you want from just a right click. I really find this app convenient and handy because as a content creator and photographer, I need to move or make a copy of photos and video right from the SD card to the folder in my Mac for future edit. For example, I have to go to my SD card, then I have to go through all of the photos and the video. If I want to make a copy of three videos here, plus some photo here. All I have to do is to press Command C. And next, I have to go to YouTube folder and then, you know, RAW, or I have to create another folder, just for, uh, for example, new video or new uh, whatever project, okay? And then I have to press Command V. So as you can see, there are a lot of steps involved. You know, I have to go to the SD card, I have to select the photos, I have to make a copy and then I have to go through the directories or the folders in the Mac in order to paste those files onto this folder. But with Magic Menu, all I need is a right click. Let me show you real quick. If I want to make a copy of these uh, selected photos, all I have to do is to select these photos and then right click and send to. Yeah, I have my photography uh, folder over here or YouTube raw as I have to show you the folder at the moment so because these are the photos so I can just send to uh, photography folders as you can see now the files are being moved or copied from the SD card to photography folder so now they are here and the folder is also open for you so you can you know start editing these photos immediately besides moving or sending all of these files to a specific folder if i just right click you know on an empty desktop i can go through with new file you know as you can see all i have to do is just right click select new file and then press keynote see so now i have got a keynote created on my desktop so i just double click on it there we go can just start working on my keynote immediately right click again you see quick access so this is when I want to go to specific folders immediately but I'll go through different uh, folders and subfolders so all I have to do is just right click go through quick access and click on YouTube folder so I've just opened this folder immediately if I right click on the file over here you can see I can send to I send this file to a specific folder and on the folders locations here I can even add more or I can just move to I send to or move to okay now it's time to see the setup how you can get all of this work on your Mac OS but before moving on to the tutorial I'd like to take this opportunity to thanks to our main sponsor for this video which is iBoySoft magic menu thanks for sharing this app with me and everyone and if you are interested in this app you can also check this app in this video description okay so first all you have to do is to go to this website and again you can check this link in this video description and then all you have to do is to press free download over here just press free download and the app has been downloaded you can just double click on the app yep then click press install and continue install if you are asked to enter the admin password yeah here you go you need to enter your admin password okay you get a thank you message something like that so we I could just go with free trial first so after installing this app all you have to do next is to tick on enable all your prompt automatically open up the creating new files and yeah, make sure everything is ticked then close the app okay so let me exit and quit it first and then launch it again I bought soft match menu press free trial and right click again now you can see 
new uh, elements are added onto the list. You got launch iBoss of Magic Menu from here. Get new files, so you can create new files right from here. You can go through quick access from here as well. Yep. So here's YouTube folder, my YouTube folder. So I just go to this one very quickly without going through the subfolder. So how to get more options? All you have to do, yes, open this software new files so when you right click on the empty desktop you can go to news files and see all of these files however if you want to add more uh, app that uh, is not listed in here of course you can just add more so in order to add more uh, apps you can just click add template uh, files you can just browse it find the apps you want so you can choose from here okay and then you can just put the name of that one so that when you go through uh, the right click and then hover your mouse on the new file you can see the new option you have just added but with this one send to or move to for example the uh, built-in uh, folders are all of these i have added two more folders my youtube drawer and photography i can add more folders so in order to add a folder all i need is to press add and then just select the folder i want for example, I select me pet key. Just like and then change the name or I can leave the name like this. Okay, and then I press OK. So now I've just get another folder, the me pet key. Okay, so this is in send to or move to. So when I right click on uh, any files, for example, this new uh, keynote file, and I can see the word send to or move to. And then me pet key or send to me pet key okay next is quick access i love this one very much you know if you have lots of subfolders of uh, specific files and you want to open that folders quickly this is what the quick access can help for example when i right click you can see that quick access so quick access I can go to my YouTube folder very quickly. One more thing with quick access, you can even create your favorite website. For example, I can add youtube.com and I put YouTube. Press OK. Now I've just added one more website. And if you want to delete all of these, yeah, you can just select what you want to delete and press delete. OK. Delete this folder delete okay okay guys so that's pretty much it thanks for watching if you have any questions just let me know in the comment down below and don't forget to hit subscribe and like button if you like this video and i hope to see you guys in the next videos thanks